going out to our one of our last home games together. Scene Hall weekend. Family's gonna be here. And we've been very privileged with the fact that we've gotten to you know play together over four years. I'm trying to wrap it up, seize the moment type deal. Hopefully it'll be a really special one. I mean I think it's gonna be special anyways. I just wanna enjoy it, honestly. There's no yeah. there's no point in being mad about one thing or another. Just the fact that I get to step on the field with my brother for one last time is yeah. you can't ask for something better than that. Well, let's get it. I'm exciting. Hi, my name is Corey Burkhart. I am a senior defender for Seton Hall. My name is Spencer Burkhart, and I play winger. I'm older by about a half hour. He just reminds everybody. <laughs> I always say that I wanted my space, and that's the only time I've ever been alone. How often did people confuse you and your brother? Oh, all the time. Oh my gosh, every day. Almost every day, every week, somebody either calls me by the wrong name or will just say twin because they don't understand. And I am now joined by Spencer Burkhart. Thanks for making some time. I'm, I'm, I'm Corey. This is Corey. No, no, I asked for one Burkhart. But see, here's the thing. When you get Burkharts, you get both. Well, my response at first was a little bit of um, panic because the uh, nurse and doctor had said that they weren't going to do an ultrasound. And the next thing I know, they were pulling the equipment saying, we need to do an ultrasound. And then they went and got him and they said, oh, you know, we see two. And I just remember saying, two what? Our parents got us two soccer nets and a soccer ball. And the first thing we did was we just went outside and kicked with uh, actually our grandmother around. They were basically made up of PVC pipe and just like looked like fish wire netting almost. Well, soccer is kind of a more of a family thing. Uh, my older brother played, I played. Tyler and Sarah, my older brother's children, we used to go watch their games and they got into it that way and then they wanted to play in the backyard so at one point we actually went out and bought PVC pipe and bought nets and built them. Family played a huge role. One of the reasons why Spence and I continued with soccer was because of uh, my cousins. Our families were pretty close. My mom and my dad wanted to go support them. Seeing like the process that he went through and how you know high school soccer and club soccer for him was going and what he did to get himself there it was something that we wanted to do. We really looked up to him because uh, he was kind of like the older brother. Like we were the older, the oldest of our family, so he was kind of like the older brother. We are homeschooled up until about eighth grade. A lot of what we did was together, no matter what, even if it was school. Yeah, we were spending every day together, every single minute, basically. Like there was no time that we were apart. My dad, at the time, he was working a pretty tough schedule and it was difficult to find time to see him because of his trip schedule. He was working at, on weekends and had during the week off. And it was just more quality time and quantity yeah. for us as a family. He always based his schedule off our games. Like that was the first thing he looked at. He hated missing any of our games, even my younger brothers when they came along and started playing. When I was about 13 or 14, my dad lost his job and my mom had to go back to school. It could have easily just pulled us from the club we were at, which was um, PA Classics at the time. But, you know, they made sacrifices in order for us to continue playing and to continue to pursue our dream. Well, it was tough because we went from two incomes to one income. Uh, I was out of work for a period of time, but uh, we did the best we could to, to make it work and provide for them whatever they, they needed to pursue that. Just having my parents be committed to taking us to the spots that we wanted to go and play. You know, hey, we were interested in this, didn't even think about it, they brought us. It was, if we wanted to pursue our dream, they were going to be there fully supportive. They always supported our decisions, whether it came to college decision or when we wanted to move club teams when we were younger. Anywhere we went, we were on the same team. It was, it's almost like when someone talks about, oh yeah, this guy's coming to, coming to play for us. No, it's, hey, Corey and Spencer are coming to play. It's not just one person. It was almost like a, a package deal. There was a school in the spring of our junior year that we had both gotten recruited to and we kind of really felt like it was a good place for us to go. And some things with coaching changes and everything kind of messed up the recruiting process. And so that was like a good month, month and a half that we were just like, okay, maybe we really got to start really considering, okay, we're going to have to go to separate places. Playing together was definitely a big part of what we wanted from a college. It wasn't necessarily required. It was a big reason why we chose Seton Hall. So I'm done after December. Uh, actually, I'm graduating early. 
I, I do have an extra year to play here. I redshirted my freshman year, so I have a fifth year. And after that, uh, I'd like to get my master's, finish my master's. I'll be in grad school at the time. We're old enough now that we're kind of, we've kind of developed into our own individuals. And Spence is my best friend, no matter what. So when it came to experiencing new events or new things, especially if you went to try out for a team, you didn't have that awkward or that nervous feeling of, all right, who am I gonna go ask to pass with? Who am I just gonna juggle by myself? I'm excited for it, actually. Like, I'm not really afraid, but I'm excited to see what the future brings for both of us.